How's it Sean from Mel's YouTube book site YouTube channel? Today we're going to be talking about the King of Swords and there's a card there. Alright, let's get started. <clears throat> a stern looking king stares straight from his seated position on a throne. In his right hand he holds a raised sword in the air. He wears a ring on his middle finger on his left hand. He sits in judgment holding the power of truth and judgment inherent in the suit of swords. His crown is decorated with a winged cherub and butterflies, his throne is decorated with naked woman amidst clouds and amidst butterflies and crescent moons, one waxing and the other waning. In the background are a few clouds and cypress trees. He is highly intelligent and a powerful man with dark brown hair and brown eyes. He is independent, ambitious and an assertive individual who prefers to be in the position of authority. He is highly rational, possesses the qualities of sound, fair judgment often feared and respected by others, represents an authoritative figure, a committed lover, friend or enemy. Alright, so the King of Swords. All swords donate intelligence, the element of air, zodiac sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and the major Karna card of judgment. <clears throat> a powerful and intelligent man with dark hair and brown eyes, independent, ambitious and assertive. He has strong convictions and not easily swayed and he's often respected by others. Whatever comes his way, he's able to handle it. He may or may be a lawyer, senator, doctor, good friend, committed lover, and can be a firm enemy. So the key words, professional, confident, assertive, ambitious, independent, feared, respected, mature, and powerful. All right, so these are the Celtic cross positions, flag position one and two with the King of Swords. Now we've got a video, we did a video called the Celtic Cross. It's a reference guide. All right, if you look at the top right hand corner of this video, <clears throat> you will see the Celtic Cross uh, video. It, sho it shows how all the cards are all laid out. You can see it and it shows all the positions of the cards. I suggest you go and watch that video before we carry on. All right, so key position number one, situation. A, you or another involved in the situation is being too inflexible because you or they are sure they are right. B, you make an important decision to carry out an action based on the knowledge of your inner sense of what is right. And C. You have insight to cut through the unnecessary issues clogging progress, although others may see it as ruthless or uncaring. Alright, so flag position number two. Challenge. A. Be prepared to protect and defend yourself against someone who is judging you or criticizing you. B. You could be called upon to express and defend that which you truly believed in, believe in. C. You are or have become more authoritative or an expert in some field. Prepare to take a position of leadership and take care not to be arrogant about it. Question. Mature, professional, assertive, powerful and ambitious. A. What time do you need to take some definite action to reach closure on old activities? B. How are you using your power to be rational, logical, and analytical? All right, so this is the King of Swords in the upright position and the King of Swords in the reverse position. In other words, upside down. So, a patriarch, a mature man, or disciplined, authoritative woman. The king in his right hand holds a sword, the hand of the conscious, rational mind, and points it upright and to the left, the side of the conscious, intuitive mind. This symbolizes a person who is decisive in all matters, with keen judgment and fair decision-making abilities, hard-working, a problem-solver, calculating and intentionally detached. They value intelligence and logic over all else, able to see all sides of a situation and stand firm in their own authority. They believe in structure and rule of law and believes a stern approach to things is the way to be. They stick to schedules and don't understand how people can be irresponsible. We are here to be productive, they state. They feel they are worthy and industrious member of society and that they should be liked by everyone. They make excellent project managers, a visionary CEO and a great politician. They get things done and walk the talk. Alright, so the King of Swords in the reverse position. In other words, upside down. They can be very judgmental, which does not always suit them. They need to remember everyone is different, coming into this life with their own lessons to learn and their own assets and challenges to handle. One, does, one doesn't have to pass judgment just because they're different from you. 
something fire signs often have a hard time accepting. A person set in their ways for so long that it almost feels impossible to change them. If this person is you, take heart, people do change. One can always work with a life coach or therapist with whom they feel comfortable with. They need to give themselves time and space and show compassion towards themselves and others. Alright, so that's it for the King of Swords. Our next video is going to be on the Ace of Cups. Alright, so please like this video, share it, and uh, subscribe to our channel. It's free. We're doing this awesome playlist on Otara. So please subscribe. And leave comments and suggestions as well. Alright, until our next video on the Ace of Cups, this is Sean from Mel's YouTube book site, YouTube channel. Good day on you.